Welcome to the Primitive Lifeways channel. In today's video series, I'm gonna take you step by step in how to construct an otter pelt arrow quiver. So stick around, we've got a great show coming up. Folks, I wanna welcome you back. Now the pelt we'll be working with in this video series is a little bit different compared to this one. It's shorter and it has a different complex first side out. It's more of a light brown compared to a dark brown, almost black complex. But we'll construct it in a very similar manner as we have here. A few minor differences, which I'll get into later on in this video series. So it'll hold a different style arrow. Now I like to work with these otters because they have a very thick hide and it can take quite a bit of abuse, especially out here in the Southwest where everything's so mountainous and rugged you can really abuse these before they start to tear compared to something like a gray fox or a coyote which has a very thin skin. Dipping back in traditional times the natives would use these otter hides. They knew how decorative they can get and they also knew how durable they are. The Northern California tribes would flip these skin side out and fur side in. Either way they're both beautiful. I personally like fur side out. It brings out the natural character, but they both work, like I said, and they both hold up quite well. So without further ado, I wanna show you how to turn an otter pelt into an arrow quiver. All right, so what I've done is I flipped this otter hide inside out. So you can now see I have the fur side in and the skin side out. And I'm just sewing on a piece of brain tan leather. I'm creating a pocket for a wooden dowel and that'll help stiffen up this quiver quite a bit. So how I do this is I just pinch the leather up top, I feed the needle in, poke underneath the brain tan, and I'll use my pliers to pull the needle through. and I'll just snug it. You don't wanna pull down real tight. Just snug it up a little bit. So again, I pinch the leather and I go through the skin side, through the brain tan, and I pull the needle through. So you want to make sure you just catch the skin. You don't want to poke through the fur side because if you whip stitch that, you're going to have a crease. So one thing, if you're new to this, I would recommend feeling the seam and you shouldn't feel any stitches. It should blend in nice and smooth. So once more, I pinch up top. I just poke through the skin. I'm not catching that fur. I poke through the brain tan and pull the needle through. So you're just creating a whip stitch. What I'll do is I'll finish this little bit up here. I wanna create an opening for the wooden dowel to slip in and out, and I'll be right back with you. I went ahead and sewed on that piece of brain tan. You can see it's right there. So what I'll do is I'll take this wooden dowel, again, this is oak, and I'll just run this inside that little pocket and push it down in. I'll push it all the way down to the bottom. Just kind of feel where you're at. And that should be about good right there. 
a little bit further. There we are. So that'll stiffen this up a bit. And at this point, I'll cut off the otter head or the face of the otter. And we'll start working on the strap. <laughs> 